Good morning, Holy Man. Today is Friday, May 10th, and the theme for this month is to each our own is beautiful. And today you can think about this kindness quote, the only thing impossible is impossibility. This is your Holy Man News Crew. I'm Ryan. And I'm Lauren. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Leading the pledge today is Noah Mozart, Mrs. Mozart's son, who is a visitor at Holy Man today. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the public for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. If you're buying hot lunch today, there will be taco turkey with lettuce, cheese, carrots, pears, and milk on your tray. That sounds delicious. We wish a very happy Horace Mann birthday to third grader Peyton Diemert and kindergartner Philos Muhammad. Please go to the office for your bookmark or pencil. We have been waiting all week and getting clips. Have you guessed the topic of our One School, One Book? Finally, here's our video telling what the book is. Guten Morgen, Jungs und Mädchen der Horace Mann. Oh, sorry, I got distracted. Forgot you don't speak my language. Such a shame. Good morning, boys and girls of Horace Mann. What time of year is it? It's May. What happens in May? How could you forget? It's one school, one book. This year you are so fortunate. You're having an amazing book about me. Who am I, you ask? I will not tell you, but I affect your life every single day. And I lived over 100 years ago. Did the cell phone alarm woke you up this morning? That's my fault. Did you brush your teeth this morning? I certainly hope so. I made toothpaste work better. Do you like TV and using a remote control? You're welcome. I made this possible too. I've also helped the world, as you know it, develop laser pointers, solar powers, Google Maps, and the best thing, paper towers. I'm still kind of a big deal, and I died in 1955. I won't tell you my name, but let me tell you about my life. These are my parents, lovely people, lovely people. And look, there I am. I'm not the most handsome young lad you've ever seen in your life. I was beautiful. I had a few problems, and there I am with my little sister. She was two years younger than me. <laughs> That's all I'm telling you about that. Have you ever had some smoked fish with pickles? So wonderful. If you haven't, you are missing something absolutely wonderful. Too bad for you. Here I am with my school class. I dropped out of school because I only wanted to study the things I liked. They wanted me to learn things I didn't enjoy. Imagine that. Ah, here's my class from university. It took me several tries to get into university because I failed my exam many times. The director was impressed though and let me come back after finishing one year of high school. Then I graduated. I got a day job that let me work on my science at night. I wrote many papers and used thought, thought experience for fun. You should try something like this. It's amazing. 1905. That was a great year. That's when things really started to happen. What happened, you want to know? I can't tell you, for as I have said, I never think in the future it comes soon enough. And now it's time for me to reveal your one school, one book. The story is all about me. I didn't write it, that have, would, would have been boastful. Boys and girls, I present National Geographic's kit Albert Einstein by Libby Romero. The weather in Lakewood today will be lots cooler than yesterday. The good news is the rain should end in time for us to have an outside recess in the sunshine. The high today will be 58 degrees. It will be partly cloudy and in the 50s most of the weekend. In baseball news, the Tribe is traveling to California to play in Oakland this weekend. They had had lots of ups and downs this week, but the highlight was the walk-off home run by Jose Ramirez on Wednesday night against Chicago. And now here are Ryan and Wyatt with a joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Pencil. Pencil who? Never mind. There's no point to it. Today's newscast has been brought to you by Lewis, James, Wyatt, Lauren, Charlotte, and Curtis. Have a fantastic Friday and remember the five B's of Lewis Man. Be, be safe, be respectful, be responsible, be kind, and be the best you can be. be. The, the choice is yours. The news is in and we're out.